Cattle ranchers and alternative meat makers are competing for a spot on your dinner plate to view the full article, click the first link in the description below, bands have hit the road again. Well, sort of. With clubs closed many permanently artists have scrambled to bring live, in-person music to audiences. No band has dialed into this new live landscape like Maine's The Ghost of Paul Revere. The group completed a mini tour of New England's drive-in venues in July. After that, the five-piece booked its own four-day drive-in series in Farmington, Maine. Next up is Friday's gig at Cape Cod's Yarmouth Drive-In. We've lived the last nine years of our lives touring in the van and playing shows, banjo player slash singer Max Davis said. The offbeat rhythm of tour schedule, driving, loading in, sound checking, playing, loading out, driving to the hotel, is so ingrained in all of us that it really felt good to be back at it, yet the reality of our current landscape affected everything. We know we are putting our stamp of approval on any show that draws people physically together, and we do not take that responsibility lightly. We are dedicated to keeping people safe, and thanks to our amazing team and the venues slash promoters we worked with, it felt as though we were staying true to that with these drive-in shows. It's painful not to be able to connect with the friends and family after the show, or catch up beforehand, he added. But as long as we are making small, safe steps, we hope that it will ensure our ability to continue doing what we love. The ghost of Paul Revere came together a decade ago, made up of childhood friends Davis, guitarist-slash-singer Griffin Sherry and bassist-slash-singer Sean McCarthy. They play folk music by the broadest definition of the term. Sometimes that means sounding like the nitty-gritty dirt bands will the circle be unbroken, other times it means hewing closer to fellow New England heroes such as Deer Tick and Ballroom Thieves. But always in the band's fans will attest to this the energy bounces between a gospel revival and a boozy bands have hit the road again. Well. Sort of with clubs closed many permanently artists have scrambled to bring live, in-person music to audiences to view the full article, click the first link in the description below.